So how can you add a mouse dragging event on an image such that shape can be drawn whenever you drag a mouse? Folks, Nitin here and this is the AI University channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how can you draw a rectangle or a square when you drag a mouse in a particular direction on the image. You will see a rectangular uh, shape getting drawn on an image gradually as you drag a mouse. When you release the mouse, you will uh, see a rectangle or square freezed then and there. So watch this video till the end. If you are new here, then consider subscribing to this channel or if you have already subscribed, then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications about hottest technologies of 21st century. Please show your love and support by liking, sharing and subscribing to this video as I will feel highly motivated. Also, we now have the AI University app and the website uh, which is in beta mode right now. Uh, you can download the code related Jupyter Notebooks by enrolling to this course right here on the AI University website. You can access the related quizzes and uh, certificate of course completion like this from the AI University once I upload all the videos and once you complete all the tutorials including final quiz. So let's get started. So here you can see my Jupyter Notebook. You can, say, uh, you can see that uh, first we are uh, importing our uh, familiar CV2 and NumPy modules. Uh, most of the code I have already explained in the previous video. Uh, so you can watch that video if in case you have jumped directly on this video. Link is given in the i button above. In the next line we are defining couple of variables. So first one is draw which is uh, or whose value is set as false. The value of this variable will become true if in case uh, the mouse is pressed down or the mouse button is pressed down. The value will stay true till the time we are drawing the image. As soon as we stop uh, pressing the mouse button or in other words the mouse button is up, the variable value will become false again and which means we are not drawing anymore. Then in the next line we have ix and iy variables whose values are being kept as minus 1 and minus 1 respectively. These are the coordinates of the mouse so whom uh, we are going to track as well. Okay. In the next line we are creating a function called as a rectangle underscore shape uh, to draw the rangle, rectangle just like we did in the previous video where we were drawing you know circles right. So this function is taking several arguments. Uh, there is a parameter called as event that determines whether we are doing a right click on the mouse or the left click on the mouse. Right, this one. Uh, then we have x and y coordinates of the mouse position represented by x and y values. Uh, flag well is the parameter for highlighting some warnings and par is a parameter for any additional task and uh, at the time of uh, uh, at the time of setting the callback function, these values are taken as the default values from the function or the set mouse callback function. Inside this function, we are defining uh, these uh, draw ix and iy variables as global variables, okay, which are uh, actually uh, initialized above. As mentioned earlier, we will be keeping track of these global variables so, so that we can change them in the global namespace as we move along. So in the next set of lines, we uh, have incorporated the if condition to check three events. If the event is uh, left button down, that means that we are starting to draw the rectangle. The draw parameter will be set as true then we will capture the current location of the mouse by set setting ix and iy equals to xy when we press the left button of the mouse. Then we have elif statement to capture mouse move event. Mouse move event means that we are dragging the mouse in a particular direction uh, and that's where we will start drawing the rectangle. So we are checking if drawing is equals to true then uh, we are invoking rectangle function and passing the window underscore image argument that we have defined here right here 
then we are invoking a rectangle function and passing the uh, image window argument that we have defined here right whose dimensions are 1024 by 1024 then these are the starting point coordinates uh, which is the one where you press the button down so that would be ix and iy the endpoint coordinates uh, or target coordinates would be the one where you uh, where uh, your mouse currently is so those coordinates would be x and y this parameter suggest the color of the rectangle which in our case is blue so the next parameter uh, defined is uh, minus 1 which tells us that we want a solid or filled rectangle shape next we are turning off the drawing of the rectangle when we are releasing the mouse or the left mouse button and uh, that we are doing un under this particular elif event or the elif statement so here we are checking if the event is left button up that is releasing the mouse button then we are setting variable draw as false and then invoking the rectangle function with the same argument as mentioned above. In the next line we are drawing a black image by making use of this numpy's zero function. Uh, it and this image has dimensions defined as 1024 by 1024 and three color channels. Integer is, uh, I mean, the data type is again defined as integer. And this window is where we are drawing our rectangle on the mouse click. In the next set of lines, which are this named window and set mouse callback, uh, we are connecting the rectangle shape into the image callback. This image is nothing but the black image window that we created uh, above right here. And this image is where we are going to draw the rectangle by doing mouse interaction. So we are using named window function for the set, uh, for setting the connection with the window, uh, which is the black image window. And inside this, we are passing a window image name as image window. Uh, we have created uh, that image above as I, as you already know and uh, we are connecting that image to a callback function called a set mouse callback uh, this function takes uh, two arguments first is the name of the image as image underscore window on which we want to draw the rectangle and second argument is rectangle shape function which is the shape we are going to draw on the black image in the next line we are uh, reading our image underscore window inside while loop or uh, and uh, we are using the I am show function to showcase that image the first argument to this function is uh, the name of the image as image window and second argument is the variable holding this image window then we are using if condition to exit out from the window whenever we are pressing escape key so let me run this cell now you can see that in black image window of dimension 1024 by 1024 has been created. Now on the top left corner, just press the left mouse, left mouse button down and drag it towards the lower right corner. So you can see that a rectangle is being created. So whenever I'm clicking on this left mouse button and dragging it down, I can see this rectangle. And now when I release this uh, mouse button and move away my mouse, uh, mouse, I could see the rectangle drawn here. Please ensure that you are moving the mouse from top left to bottom down. Otherwise, if you move it in any other direction, then you will get some weird shape drawn. So let me show you so you can see that some weird shapes are getting drawn now right now if you press the escape key this image window will be closed so folks this is it for this video in the next upcoming video i will cover another important topic of the computer vision using opencv series so here is today's question what does variable ix and iy signify in the code we have written Please post your answers, comments in the comment section given below. 
so that I can get a chance to incorporate your feedback. You can also post your technical questions in the comment section and I will try to answer the same. If you are watching this video and you are not already a subscriber to our channel, consider clicking that little subscribe button. In case you have already subscribed, then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever I will release a new video. So thanks for hanging out with me guys. I will be covering next topic in the upcoming video. So keep on watching. Thank you.